Now let's say hello to the dream catcher himself, Gegard Musasi, who's joining us via the phone. Gegard, how are you? I'm good, Ariel. How are you? Thank you. I, I'm good. Yes, long time no speak. I, I heard uh, you're shy these days. You don't like to be on Skype. No, no, no. I'm, I'm okay. I was just training, and then uh, I think you guys decided it's going to be a phone interview, I think. Uh, <laughs> I'm well, okay with Skype, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. It's good to talk to yeah. you. So what did you think when uh, when they offered you this fight against Douglas Lima? What was your, your initial thoughts on it? Well, I think uh, Lima wanted the, the fight. So um, it's a big fight. I take it. He has nothing to lose. If he wins, he's double champ. Uh, if he loses, you know, they say the bigger man won. Uh, so he has nothing to lose. You know, for me, it's a big fight. Uh, I knew I, I wanted to fight Lovato for the title but he's out so uh, the title is vacant and now I fight him so you mentioned the fact that Lima's coming up for someone who is the bigger guy right the, the the natural middleweight you've been in this situation before against Roy McDonald do you feel like you don't get the proper credit if you beat Lima the same way you don't get the credit that maybe you deserved when you beat Roy McDonald because you are 15 pounds heavier well, they're big welterweights. I'm not that big of a middleweight. middleweight. Last fight, uh, you know, I saw uh, Douglas Lima. I gave him a hug. I said, well, what the fuck? You're a big guy. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> he's not small. Uh, listen, um, Robert Whittaker was a welterweight. Uh, Kevin Gaston was a welterweight. They're now at middleweight and doing just fine. You know, it's, okay. uh, They're contenders or they're ex-champs. So. Weight doesn't mean anything if you have the heart desire to win. You know what I mean? That's it's right. It's a factor when it's in the clinch, when I'm on top, uh, when it's too much uh, shoving and pushing and wrestling involved. Yeah, then then it's uh, then weight may matters. But uh, like I said, if you have heart, it doesn't matter the weight. Have you been impressed with Lima as of late? What he's done? It seems like he's finally starting to get respect as one of the best in the sport. Have you been impressed? Yeah, yeah, I trained with Douglas Lima. He was uh, in Holland, in Amsterdam. He trained once. Uh, Michael uh, Page uh, was in Holland. I trained with him, uh, and he he beat Michael Van Page. He was, he's, uh, I trained with the guy. He's really good. So it shows uh, the caliber that Lima is. So definitely a tough, uh, tough challenge to me for me. Wow. When, when did you train with him? How long ago was that? Well, uh, I think uh, maybe. Four months, five months ago, maybe oh. longer, six months. No, 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 much longer. I'm sorry. Maybe eight months ago, something like that. Okay. Uh, I just trained once. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, but he wasn't in shape. So and I don't think he showed everything. I think he was uh, holding himself back a little bit. So uh, we're going to see uh, the, how the fight is going to go. Did you guys spar? Yeah, yeah well, it was uh, maybe two, three rounds of sparring. Oh, yeah. how did it go? Who won? Uh, I don't know who won. <laughs> in your but, mind? Uh, yeah, in my mind, I thought I won, but he, he wasn't really showing anything. Right. You know what I mean? So wait. He, he was uh, very, very careful of. Uh, yeah, he was. He was not in shape, to be honest. So I cannot make any of anything of that. You know. In other words, are you trying to say that you're the unofficial Bellator welterweight champion right now? No, mm -hmm. no, no. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. I think uh, he has a championship mentality. Uh, obviously, he's confident. That's why he wants to come up the weight class and uh, fight me. So, uh, like I said, he got nothing to lose. You know, that's a dangerous opponent. By the way, why, why was he at your gym? Why was he in Holland? I don't know. Maybe holiday. I, don't, I didn't ask him. <laughs> Interesting. I feel like yeah. maybe he was scouting. You know, he shows up at your gym. Six months later, the fight is booked. Well, I wasn't, uh, back then he wasn't the uh, welterweight champion yet. So I, I think you, it wasn't in his mind to fight at middleweight. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like, concoct a theory here, Gegard. Play with me. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Well, mm -hmm. I don't know. No, no, no. He's a, he's a, very, uh, he's a good very guy. Nice guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him a lot. Uh, you know, nothing uh, but respect. But uh, I'm going to try to beat him, yeah. So your two last opponents, it seemed like you had an issue with them, right? Lovato and Machida, um, you know, talking about potential PED use and things like that. You have no feelings like that towards Douglas Lima? No, not at all, uh, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I talk too much about steroids, you know. <laughs> I like that you talk I, yeah, about but, it. Uh, it's important. Know, but but uh, against uh, Lovato, you know, there was, we were rivals, you know. There was... Uh, I had to face him, uh, and then I saw his difference in his body. And then uh, the rematch, I wanted it bad to uh, to prove something. So 
So there was some rivalry. Uh, we, we were supposed to fight, but I guess Lavata, I got also nothing against him. He seems like a nice guy. He seems like a guy I can be friends with. So uh, now I know he's, he's a little bit down. I wish him well. Um, so I know how it feels. He's a competitor. He wants to compete, but uh, his health is a little bit uh, issue now. So um, I, don't, I don't know. We see. Yeah, considering your um, your background with him, when you heard about the the brain issue that he's dealing with, what did you think? I felt bad for the guy. Uh, you know, I know I'm a competitor. Uh, when you're injured, you want to fight, and you're not allowed. So uh, yeah, I wish him the best. I wish him the best. But uh, my feeling hasn't changed of that he cheated. You know, that's you know, it is what it is. Uh, do you do you feel? I don't know, a little bit upset about the fact that it looks like you'll never get a chance to fight him again? On one hand, yes, because uh, I felt like I could have won that fight. On the other hand, you know, at least I don't need to push for the drug testing and whatever the fuck that is, you know. Right. So uh, on one hand, I'm happy, you know. On one hand, I'm like, uh, okay, I wanted to win the belt from him, you know. What, but what, uh, like I said, the life moves on, you know. It's, it's for me, a fight that, uh, but that was a rematch I wanted to get back. Right. Was it, was there talks of it happening before this news came out? What, were you guys close to getting yeah, it done? I, yeah, I think uh, they said January for me uh, to fight in uh, California. That didn't happen. Uh, I think he wasn't getting cleared from the commission. He wasn't allowed to uh, be approved also for UK, but uh, somehow they approved him. That was a mistake, and uh, that's what I've understood from uh, the situation. And by the way, when you were in the UFC, how did you feel about USADA? Would you like to see... Bellator get into an agreement with with an organization like that to increase their drug testing. Well, the commission they test, you know, uh, especially when you're fighting in California. Anyway, uh, and then you don't have the commission. There's um, Michael uh, that's uh, from uh, Mohegan Sun that tests everybody. So there's drug testing, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. But you know, you have you have some athletes that's always going to try to cheat. It's it's there are always going to be some guys that's going to try to cheat. You cannot. You cannot fix that. You know, that's always going to be there. Even with you, saw that people are trying to cheat. Then they get caught, you know? Sure. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh, difficult. You're always going to have that. And I'm not suggesting that there is no drug testing. Of course, I know about uh, Mike Mazzulli of the Mohegan Tribe uh, Commission, but uh, increased testing and, and uh, more unannounced testing, out-of-competition testing, things yeah, like yeah. that. They, they, you know, they, they did that with me, with Rory. They did that with me and Shemalenko. They came, uh, I had to go to, in Holland to, to do drug testing. So sometimes there is, you know, it's not that it's not there. But uh, my issue was really with uh, Lovato, you know, and uh, because... Uh, Oklahoma, I don't know where he's from. Uh, it's you know <laughs> a little bit shady. <laughs> what? Why? What's wrong with Oklahoma? Uh, well, you know Oklahoma. I hear there's not even uh, MRI uh, uh, scans. You know what I mean? Oh my! So uh, yeah, so he, that's why he was able to fight all those times. And then when he was supposed to fight in UK, um, in California, that's when they test him and uh, they said, well, you have some brain issue. You cannot fight. Oh, interesting. Okay, so shady. Yeah, for- yeah, a lot of a lot of places they don't have a strict commission, you know. Right, but, of course. You know, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Even in U.S. And so uh, recently, I I heard that you were a free agent, but now I understand you've resigned with Bellator, or you were going to be a free agent. Yes. Maybe you had one fight left. Yeah, I have one fight left. We signed again. I'm very happy. You know, I'm going to finish my career at Bellator, and uh, yeah, you know, nothing to complain. I'm satisfied. <laughs> I always complained before about money, but <laughs> I'm not gonna complain, you know. <laughs> so, so why did you why did you resign with one fight left? Why not test the market as a free agent? Well, there was no need for it because uh, I have good relationship with Scott, and um, I, I've been always treated well in Bellator. There's no need to go on free market and see. Uh, you know, I'm satisfied. That's that's the big thing. You know, I'm happy where I am. How many fights did you resign for? Well, that I ha- I'm not allowed to answer. <laughs> what? Why? I'm not asking. Nima says, I don't know. As Come on, Nima. Ariel is very dangerous. You shouldn't answer those questions. Dangerous? What are you talking about? Dangerous is, I don't know. I was, uh, they said strictly don't answer any contract. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Listen. Because I always uh, mess up things. You know? No, no, no. They don't trust me anymore. Even we, with news. We, we need but they to... have a fight. That they're very afraid to let me know who I'm fighting. Because oh they're afraid uh, it's going to leak. This is crazy. 
Western uh, area. Listen, as a sport, we need to get over this. First of all, it's your news. It's your fight. You should be able to say whatever the heck you want to say about it. And also, I'm not, I know. I'm I'm not asking you yeah. how much you're getting paid. <laughs> I'm just, I just want to know how many more fights. Why is that such I a secret? Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, let's say... Uh, Till end of my career. Then I'm gonna be done. All right, fair enough. Jeez, Louise, yeah. everyone's so secretive. <laughs> now, now, why, why? Uh, no, no. It's, it's, that's not me, Arrow. You know me. I know, I know. Uh, You're very uh, honest. But, uh, you know, but uh, sometimes I mess up a lot, so they're uh, they're putting me on some restrictions. You know. <laughs> oh gosh, please don't restrict yeah. Gegard Musasi. If they're gonna muzzle <laughs> you after all these years, then we're all in trouble. They can shut down MMA, right? There's yeah. Everyone can go home. There's no, you know. <laughs> There's no point. Yeah. No point. I'm not going to yeah. do the show anymore. No point of, yeah, I know. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, so you say you're done. After yeah. this contract, you're done. That's it. Retire. Um, probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, you know, it's, uh, I was talking about retirement uh, two, three fights ago, and then I lost. I got motivation back. Uh, so, I'm, you know, I, at this moment, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not thinking any uh, of retirement. It's just a uh, uh, fight at a time. And some big accomplishment before I go. Why did you lose the love of the game, or were you were you tired? Yeah, I was tired. I was tired. I was uh, with Lavata. I was counting out the fights. I had I had three fights. I was like, okay, this one and two more fights. I don't know. Maybe burned out a little bit. Uh, long training camp, injuries, all that stuff. Uh, the you know, and then uh, I, after I lost, it came back a little bit. You know, uh, the injuries are healed. Sometimes you get those things. You know, a little bit burned out. Uh, but, yeah, um, yeah, I'm back. Did you start to think of other things to do? Like, oh, what am I going to do when I'm done? I, I like doing this. I like this business. Did you start to go down that no. path? I would have just enjoyed life a little bit, get fat, and uh, eat uh, pancakes. I don't know. You know, wow. uh, what else is there to do? Uh, yeah, uh, spend money. I don't know. You know, enjoy. I'm gonna yeah, buy stuff. <laughs> Hang out on the farm. Yeah, well, maybe go on holidays. I don't like holidays, but uh, I was thinking maybe to to learn how to enjoy it. You know? <laughs> Why don't who doesn't like holidays? Because my life is already a holiday. I'm uh. having fun every day. I'm training. I'm always with friends. My house is full of people all the time. So why do I need to go to a different place? I eat what I eat. I like, uh, you know, I can do whatever I like. Right. Why is your house full of people all the time? Isn't that annoying? Well, my gym, my friends come all the time. Uh, my mother, my uh, nephew, my sister is always there. My brother, you know, it's full, full, full house. That's good. That's why yeah. that's what I enjoy. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, that's what I'm used to always. So I enjoy the people around me. Do you guys still live on the farm? Yes, maybe we buy the neighbors too. <laughs> wow, things are going well for the Musasis. Moving on up. Yes, yes. I, I like it. Happy. <laughs> Wait, so how many acres are we talking about now? I don't know acres. It's oh yeah. <laughs> what do you guys use over there? Yeah, well, but, uh, my friend is wants to buy it, so if he cannot buy it, maybe he buys. I don't know. Okay, and 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 what kind of animals do we have now? Nothing, nothing. I I cannot even uh, take care of myself. <laughs> I had one uh, bonsai tree in my house, in my room. I have to give it water once a week. It died. So I don't, I don't think animals are safe. Uh, you know? Wait, you have a farm, but you don't have any animals on the farm? No, it's just uh, the, where you put the sheep in it. Uh, it's a gym now. So I, I used to the uh, barn. The barn, yeah. The barn. It's so. my gym now, yeah. So I don't have place for animals. Wow. So now you don't have to ever leave. You just go to the barn and train. Yeah, in the barn I train, and my house is like 10 meters away, so, it's, you know. And everyone comes to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I'm moving now. I bought a new house, a new gym. Oh. Uh, I'm going to make this area another house, guest house. Uh, yeah, with a swimming pool, everything. Whoa. It's very good, Ariel. Whoa. Don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> Life is good, Gegard. Wow, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah, I, I can't complain. I can't complain. Yeah. You deserve it. Did you ever Thank think? You, did you ever think that MMA would give you this kind of life? Uh, well, yeah, that was the goal. I was trying to get where I am now. It took a long time. I'm 34, yeah. uh, so it's it's you know it took a long time, uh, but eventually we're here, you know. Right. Yeah. I mean, th to, to be honest, 34 isn't that old. No, no, it's not. It's not. But uh, you know, I'm fighting from 
year when I was 20, I was fighting in Pride. So it's been a long, uh, long road, you know? It has, it has. And by the way, pancakes, that's your favorite thing? That's like your favorite vice? No, no, it just came up, you know. Oh. I, uh, you know <laughs> I, I eat crap all the time. Right. What's like your biggest one, the biggest junk food that you eat that you just can't say no to? French fries, three candle fish, all the Dutch, Dutch. What is that? It's a sausage. Oh. It's a sausage of all the shit that animals, they mix it and they give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really healthy for you, yeah. But you love it. Yeah, I like it, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And the French fries in uh, the Netherlands, tremendous, right? Yeah, they're good, they're good. You, you put a lot of sauce on it, and you, you just eat the sauce, you know, you feel the sauce. <laughs> Love it. Now, uh, Gegard, yeah. before I let you go, I just want to ask yeah. you, um, You so you fight Lima in uh, May, and then obviously yeah. Bader's fighting on that card. Is the plan then to get yeah. the Bader uh, title fight as well at 205? Yeah, 100%. Not, well, 100%, you know, um, it depends on the schedule. Uh, because uh, they were supposed to come to Holland, Oh. Uh, I wanted to fight in Holland, but now there's, you know, Amsterdam, they don't give the permit uh, because uh, and, uh, they have, the city hall is a little bit difficult with permits. So if, if they come to Holland and then uh, pay their, uh, whatever they give me, you know, I, I'm open to that fight, you know, but with Bader, I need to get time to get bigger a little bit. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Well, I mean, but you're used no, to fighting yeah. at 205, right? It's not such a big thing I'm for you. I, I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't have any problems going up, but at least I have to have six months at least. You know what I mean? Yeah. So is that... Is that uh, I feel comfortable at my weight, yeah. Was this something that was discussed when you re-signed with them, that you want to get a 205 title fight as well? No, there was, there was always a, uh, a possibility, you know, because uh, I fought at light heavyweight before, and uh, so they always, I knew there was a possibility... Even I wanted it. I think Bellator is open for big fights. Uh, so that's a good fight, you know. It's, it's, it's going to be a difficult corner for me, style-wise. But uh, I know if I come in hungry to win, I'm going to beat him. Did you lay out to uh, Bellator? Did your management? These are the fights that we want. These are the opponents that we want before this contract no, is no. done? No, you know? we were supposed to fight Lovato. That was the whole, whole thing. Nothing else than that. But he fell out. And then it was John Salter or uh, Lima. Uh, Lima is the bigger name, so yeah. they went to Lima. Yeah. I didn't choose anybody. I'm, uh, you know, <laughs> not like I come and I say I want to fight this guy, this guy. They say you fight this guy, I fight. You know. Right. You're you're kind of like a no frills kind of guy like that. You, you don't have a lot of expectations. Well, the, wh whoever is the number one contender or whoever is a big name, uh, of course, if uh, uh, Douglas Lima wants to fight me, he is a big name. Yeah, I'm. Uh, it's more. It makes more sense for me. Than fighting John Salter, you know what I mean? But of course. I didn't challenge him. I didn't challenge Rory McDonald, you know? Right. And and before you uh, ended up agreeing to a new contract, was there any part of you in the back of your mind that thought, man, maybe I'll see what the UFC is thinking or no? No, no, no. I know I got a good deal. I'm very happy. Uh, like I said, I, the, you know, I have a good relationship with Scott. We didn't want to go to open market and see what the, what the bidding will be. And I'm happy. And, you know, that's, that's the difference. You versus Israel Adesanya, who wins? Listen, I, uh, I, I fought, uh, I trained with the guy that uh, Israel uh, fought in glory. I'm doing very well against those guys that he he's won barely. So, obviously, I feel confident uh, I can fight him and win. But uh, that's a fight that's not going to happen anytime soon. And he's a great champion. I have to say, uh, he came up very fast. I didn't know he was so good, so he's a deserving champion, yeah. You like watching him but fight? Of course, I, I believe I can beat him. Uh, that's a question that, you know, uh, if you ask any fighter, you think you can beat that guy, of course, uh, you're gonna think. as long as they're not heavyweights, yeah. Well, I want to congratulate you, Gegard, on the new contract, on the new fight. I'm uh, looking forward. What a great card that is, those two fights. Thank uh, you, The 205 fight, 185. Yeah. Wow, very happy for you. And uh, all the new things that you're buying, the farm, the houses, the gym, all this stuff. Yeah. What a life for Gegard Musasi. Well-deserved, my friend. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Talk uh, to you soon, then. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. There he okay, is. Okay, bye-bye. Gegard Musasi. Hello everyone, it's Ariel Hawani. I just came here to thank you for watching our ESPN YouTube channel. It's the best. You know what else is the best? The ESPN app. You can get highlights, analysis, all that stuff and more. And if you want premium content and live streaming sports, there's only one place for all of that. It's ESPN+. Plus.